what we've accomplished in 2007. Annual Abrahamic Traditions Dinner. Niagara Foundation started its projects and events for 2007 with the annual Abrahamic Traditions Dinner on January 6, 2007. One of Niagara Foundation's highlights is the event of Abrahamic Traditions. This is a unique opportunity for members of the Jewish, Christian, and Islamic faiths to celebrate their shared roots and traditions derived from their common ancestor, the Prophet Abraham. Peace be upon him. 165 attendees of Abrahamic religions gathered at this event. Some dignitaries, such as the mayor of Mount Prospect, and some representatives from different universities were invited to the event. The speakers were Dr. Martin Forward of Aurora University, Dr. Marsha Hermanson of Loyola University, and Rabbi Daniel Sherbill from Northbrook Community Synagogue. From Jerusalem to Mecca to Calcutta to Chicago. A discussion on faith and culture at Loyola University. A discussion was led by Loyola students from five major faith traditions and various cultures. The goal of this forum is to represent the rich faith traditions and diverse cultures as they are lived out and celebrated here at University campus. In honor of Black History Month, the forum held part of the discussion around African American religious experience at Loyola. The Simpson multi-purpose room became a melting pot of cultural and religious discourse on February 15th as six selected panelists recounted their interfaith experiences in front of a diverse assortment of approximately 100 Loyola students and faculty. The panel and food was sponsored by the Niagara Foundation and Exelon Corporation. President Michael Garanzini, SJ, initiated the program with the Niagara Foundation to celebrate the way different faith and cultural organizations interact. Rumi, a voice for our times. In commemoration of the 800th anniversary of the birth of Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi, Niagara Foundation convened a panel featuring a reception, traditional neigh music, and reflections by scholars of Rumi and or Islamic mysticism on relevant aspects of Rumi's life. The event was held at the University of Chicago Gleacher Center on May 3, 2007. The panelists were Dr. Scott Alexander of the Catholic Theological Union, Marsha Hermanson of Loyola University, and Ziki Saritoprak of John Carroll University. At the Gleacher Center, 155 attendees were present from different backgrounds of Chicago. Representatives from public schools, universities, nonprofit organizations, and consular corps enjoyed the beauty of the discussions. 2007 Peace and Dialogue Awards, honoring the heroes of Chicago. Niagara Foundation awards individuals and organizations who have contributed their time, energy, leadership, and dedication to the cause of dialogue, peace, tolerance, community service, and understanding here in Chicago. This year's award ceremony was held at the University Club of Chicago on June 14th. This year, Niagara awarded seven distinguished people in six different categories. 2007's Community Service Awards went to Frank Clark, the Chairman and CEO of ComEd, and Philip Klein, the Superintendent of the Chicago Police Department. The Education Award of the Year went to Arnie Duncan, Chief Executive Officer of the Chicago Public Schools, and Elnora Daniel, the President of Chicago State University, was awarded the Tolerance Award. The Commitment Award went to Dennis Holtschneider, President, DePaul University. The Outstanding Fetula Gulen Award went to Scott Alexander, Associate Professor of Islam and the Director of Catholic Muslim Studies at Catholic Theological Union. And the Media Award went to Larry Wirt, the President and General Manager of NBC5 Chicago. 
The night's MC was Allison Rosati of NBC5 News. The program was sponsored by Exelon Corporation. The award ceremony was commended by the recognition letters of Governor Rod Blagojevich, Lieutenant Governor Pat Quinn, Secretary of State Jesse White, and the members of Congress, Timothy V. Johnson, Melissa L. Bean, Rahm Emanuel, and Jan Schakowsky. 265 VIP guests attended the night. Again, the attendees represented all walks of life in Chicago. Media, university, civic organizations, politics, government, and corporate life were present at the event. Mount Prospect Public Library welcomes Rumi, a voice for our times. After a long summer, Niagara planned the events for the new and last season of 2007. We've started the fall season with a panel discussion on Rumi. In commemoration of the 800th anniversary of the birth of Mevlana Jalaluddin Rumi, Niagara Foundation convened a panel featuring a reception, live Sufi music, and reflections by scholars of Rumi and or Islamic mysticism on relevant aspects of Rumi's life at Mount Prospect Public Library on September 8th. The mayor and more than 150 Mount Prospect and other suburb residents attended the event. The purpose of this event was to reach out to the suburbs of Chicago and to celebrate Rumi's teachings with them. Niagara Friendship and Dialogue Dinner. September was the starting month of a new season and Niagara wanted to make a fresh start with friends. Niagara Annual Friendship and Dialogue Dinner. Let us celebrate our diversity by enjoying diverse musical entertainments and meeting and mingling with other participants. Niagara Foundation organizes annual dialogue dinners and meetings with people from a wide variety of ethnic traditions. Ramadan is a month when the relationships within and outside the community are strengthened by fasting and breaking the fast. To reinforce the friendship and dialogue between diverse communities, we gather in the intercultural dinners during Ramadan with people from all walks of life of varied communities and faith groups to emphasize values such as mutual understanding, deep respect, love, and peace. This is such an event where people from different traditions express their thoughts and offer their friendships. This year's Friendship and Dialogue Dinner was held at the University Club of Chicago on September 28th. Our keynote speaker was Dr. Martin Marty of the University of Chicago. 250 distinguished guests were present at the night. For the first time of Niagara's life, we've composed a new song for us, I Believe. I believe all we dream. Guests remarked that they enjoyed the Niagara song and the rest of the night. Aurora University and Niagara Foundation Dinner, a celebration of diversity and dialogue. This dinner is a tradition between Niagara and Aurora University. Students and faculty drew much attention to our dinner this year. Around 100 people attended the dinner on October 9, 2007. Niagara Intercultural Friendship and Dialogue Dinner at the Illinois Executive Mansion. For the first time, Niagara reached out to the Springfield House and Senate to celebrate friendship and intercultural diversity with the representatives and senators of Illinois on October 10th. This event hosted around 100 guests from the Senate and the House. The importance of dialogue among our communities was emphasized by the speaker, senators, and representatives. Senator John Milner was the chair of our bipartisan hosting committee, which includes 10 representatives in its body. The Consul General of Turkey, the Honorable Kenan Epek, made a remarkable speech at the event. The night was closed by a friendly message from Senator John Milner.
whirling dervishes of Rumi. A mesmerizing seven century old ritual featuring beautiful costumes and hypnotic live music with flutes, strings, and percussion. The whirling dervishes is like being transported on a magic carpet ride, with the exotic music creating a sense of inner rapture. Their white gowns billowing like umbrellas as they spun on stage, the dervishes demonstrated the beauty and endurance of a Muslim sacred ritual that dates to the 13th century. The whirling dervishes drew more than 600 people to the Rao Center for the Arts on Sunday, October 28th, for an event sponsored by First Congregational Church of Crystal Lake and the Niagara Foundation. Among the audience were Illinois State Senator Pamela Althoff, the Executive Director of the Chamber of Commerce in the city, and the city mayor. Senator Althoff stated at the end of the evening, enlightening, engaging, and educational. Our first uh, advisor board meeting with this uh, number of people. Before that, we got only six people. Uh, those are around you now, and we expand, expanded our board uh, uh, like four times. We have 24 people right now in our advisor board. I would like to thank to you for your advice because you're just really being helpful to us, Scott and Marcia and the rest. And you're going to see them on the videos. You're just giving us advice, so then we can get those advices and put them in action with our limited stuff and limited money. We just try to create something within Chicago. So thanks for being a driving force uh, by advising us some events. Here at Mount Prospect and some representatives from different universities were invited to the event. The speakers were Dr. Martin Ford. Um, these are some pictures from the January trip that we took this year. Um, they visited uh, schools and they made pottery with local um, with the locals. For 2008, I hope to have twice as many trips as we had in 2007. The one thing that I've really gotten from Niagara is being able to speak to people because being surrounded by so many people who have such prestigious jobs is really intimidating. And I don't know, it's really helped me to not be so afraid to talk to people and that's one very important thing I've learned, and I know that's going to transfer over when I'm applying for jobs and everything, that I'm not going to be so scared. We all know that this is uh, designed to cultivate friendship, celebrate diversity, strengthen civic dialogue in society, and deepen our intercultural awareness. We want to provide a platform for people in Chicago to voice their problems, propositions, and praises. Uh, we want them to come, and, and we want to learn about people in the city, and that's what I think the luncheons do. Uh, Robert Zietz, from, uh, Council General from uh, Austria. In May, uh, we began the summer with Stephen Schub, uh, the president of Lake Forest. Uh, Wolf Kane's uh, German Council General. Uh, Charles Middleton, the president of Roosevelt. And Phil Klein. First of all, we started to just do it once a month. But somehow we couldn't uh, speed, uh, control our speed. <coughs> then end up with like four times a month, sometimes three, months, three times a month. It is scheduled to take place uh, in March, between March 14th and 16th, on the Loyola University campus. And the reason we uh, picked this particular venue is because in our view, as it has been mentioned many times in this room already, university students and, and the university environment is where diversity is actually very, very concentrated. Okay.